Victoria looks like it could be the next generation Murano, a model that's always pushed design boundaries like few other SUVs. However, at 182.9 inches long, the Aria is actually smaller. It's sized like Nissan's ultra-popular Rogue on the outside, yet its 109.3-inch wheelbase is several inches longer, giving the design a planted, wheels at the corner stance while maximizing interior space. Other distinctive features include a solid, a flowing plate front grille, aggressive boomerang-like lead running lights, a rear spoiler, and a pair of shark-like antennae centered on the roof. Yet for its futuristic design, the Aria is still clearly a Nissan. The Aria will be offered with six different two-tone floating roof patterns, each with a black roof. It appears the signature scheme will be the black roof with a copper body, called Akatsuki, which Nissan says expresses the moment just before dawn. The Aria feels similarly different inside too, with a spacious and well-finished cabin, that manages to feel elegantly minimalist rather than lacking in equipment. Twin 12.3-inch display screens for instrumentation and infotainment run together, with most physical switchgear being for the audio and cruise functions, and integrated into the face of the steering wheel. Heating and ventilation controls come via touch-sensitive buttons integrated into the simulated wood of the dashboard, but these have a haptic resistance that makes them more satisfying to operate than a pure touchscreen interface. The Aria is powered by either one or two externally excited synchronous eight-pole motors. Front-wheel drive versions will use a single motor that produces either 214 or 238 horsepower, while the dual-motor version boosts that total to 389 horses and features Nissan's clever E-Force all-wheel drive setup. This gives the ability to both vary the front-to-rear torque split and adjust the output and regeneration of each motor to counter dive and squat motions. Thanks for watching and give your comments below.